What's good, everybody? Merry Christmas. By the time you see this, it won't be Christmas, but Merry Christmas to you. I'm recording this on Christmas Eve. Hope you guys are having a happy holidays and a happy new year to you all. Let's, let's launch this new year into a great season of gaming, all that good stuff. I have everything we need to know about Sparking Zero coming into the new year. So the first thing we need to note is Battle Hour took place March 4th through the 5th of 2023, earlier this year. And this is when we got our first look at Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. It was a short trailer. It did a callback to the other Budokai Tenkai AT series, confirming that this was not actually going to be a reboot, but this was going to be a continuation of the street of the series. Well, a reboot, but still a, a sequel to the actual series. And this was an exciting moment. This was a big drop. When this dropped, man, Twitter, every everybody was going crazy. I was going crazy when watching this. And I wasn't streaming that much at the time, but I was watching this. And man, it was a time to be alive for to be a Dragon Ball fan. I tell you that. But with all that being said, that's when we got our first, first official ever look at even anything. It was just Goku transforming into Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. And that was it. It was literally the first thing we ever got and first thing we ever saw after that we hit a dead slate going in from march all the way to about literally recently december 8th now in between that time we did get a couple of things we got a confirmation or trademark update confirmation um a while back i'm not sure like i want to say like november maybe october i don't know maybe it was a little earlier but we got a confirmation of trademark update that the name Sparking Zero was being trademarked or, you know, that was going to be the name. Basically, that was that that was the name. It wasn't going to be called Budokai Tenkaichi. It was going to be called Sparking Zero. And that's when we started to see trickling in a little bit more information, more leakers starting to give more information about the game, about the historic roster. Along with that, though, we have the roster that was kind of, somebody said the roster was leaked and I don't think it was leaked because this doesn't seem like, you know, it's legit. But going off of this roster, I do want to kind of go down the list and see, again, who can make the cut. Like, how I did with my other roster predictions. I kind of want to do a quick one because, yeah, this seems like it could be an ideal setup for a launch package for Sparky Zero. But I know, I've seen them. I know all these. Yes, could make it. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, all of these right here, 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 all of these right here. The bottom list is where we get tricky. But I still think it's ideal. Like, look at that Broly. Because there were people saying, like, leakers are confirming that this is going to be some... We're going to be able to play with characters we never thought we'd get to play with. Like, I don't know if you guys watch any of the content creators. I know President Rose has been doing a great job with that. All other leakers have been confirming this roster is going to like they've been like emphasizing that we have no idea how big this roster is going to be and so all of these guys look plausible who do who in here are we really like come on who in here are we really not going to play as sell max i don't know about that then they got diamond characters. I actually don't know about diamond characters at all. So I think I'm going to cut those out. Diamond characters, I don't think we're going to get at launch. That's going to be like a DLC thing. No way we're going to get diamond characters at launch. But these guys could be at launch. And they could be unlockable too. Unlockable. Just saying. All right. So moving on over into one of the other tidbits. We have that pre-order that went live a, a few days ago. A few days ago. The release date says December 31st, 2024. Do not take that release date for face value. Or actually take it for face value. Do not take it with a grain of salt is what I'm saying. It is not the official release date. It is a placeholder. They always do that. A lot of games and stores do that. They, they put a placeholder when they don't have a release date yet. If you go to your official site, let's go to the official site. It says uh, release date TBA or whatever. Coming soon, right? So until the official site says or Pondai says... You know, when the release date is coming, I don't think we should trust this. I'm not saying that trust them. They're saying that they're wrong. They're just using it as a placeholder to say it's coming out in 2024. Now, that does confirm that it's coming out in 2024. I think that that confirms it's coming out in 2024, in my opinion. that That's that's the only thing we can get out of this. Most likely, again, he said most likely a placeholder date, but it's not official. And if you go to the link, if you click on the link, it's a true link. It's, it's legit, guys. You can pre-order this game. 
you can get this game for a pre-order. You have the screenshot right here, Sparking Zero. It's not, it's not fake. It's not, uh, you know, whatever. I'm not gonna get it now. Obviously, I don't think anybody should. Honestly, hold your horses. I don't think anybody should get it now. And just wait for a second. Let's see some gameplay first. Let's see what they have, and then we can make our pre-order. I'm pretty sure we're gonna pre-order it like at Battle Hour. I want pre-orders to go live like like talking release date for Battle Hour. But this sparks the question: If they're dropping the pre-order date now, do you guys think that they could drop a release date at Battle Hour? What I mean by that is not drop the release date like of when it's coming out. I'm talking release the game after Battle Hour type type. You know what I'm saying? Like, you think they would launch the Battle Hour show gameplay and be like, okay, available now. Like, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Or it might be available the next month. We'll see. So getting on into what are the last things here, we have the Goku Super. Super uh, Saiyan God, Super Saiyan is ready to break the heavens. Yada yada from Dragon Ball Games. I count a lot of people were, uh, you know, talking about this is, you know, Goku mid is going to come back, you know, slow. I love slow plays. He's always talking about um, Goku mid. And so yeah, I think you can see it right here. So he's coming. Yeah. So Goku mid. Anyways, you know, it's a, not only a meme, but it is like one of the forums that he had. Like that was his literally his turning point going from Super Saiyan coming from uh, the Saiyan arc going into the Super Saiyan, you know, Cell and Namek arc. So it was a pretty iconic character. So, you know, maybe he comes back, but that's, again, that's just a meme. But with all that being said, yeah, this is great because it shows that we're going to have different variations of Goku and we get to have our own, like, way to choose. And if you remember before, there are, when you choose, like, that specific version of that Goku, he transforms up into that. So I love that they're using, we're probably going to get transformations, like actually build up to the transformations instead of just throwing on Super Saiyan 3 or getting Goku with a preset of Super Saiyan 3 or something like that, like, or just automatically having it on. We get to actually transform into the transformation. Like, I feel like they're going to make this as realistic as possible to Dragon Ball as it could possibly be. Like, I really feel like they are. Like, this is going to be legit. With everything... That has been gone over and said. Um, I really am excited for this game to drop. Guys, next year is going to be great. Battle Hour is January 27th, 20, 2024 in, in Los Angeles. The first day, I believe they're showing Sandland or something like that. The second day is probably when they're going to show like, you know, different movies and all that good stuff. Not move, Well, maybe a movie or maybe, maybe a movie. Hey, I don't know. Might get a movie announced. Who knows? But... Maybe something about Daima. Um, we're going to get a lot of stuff on Sparky Zero, I assume. Xenoverse 2, the port. I, I need more information on that. They order not on that. Then we have, uh, along with the port, Kakarot DLC is supposed to be coming out as well. I'm doing a walkthrough as we speak. The videos should be dropping periodically. I think they should start back up today. Like I said, Christmas Eve and Christmas. No uploads, but they should start back up a little bit after. So I appreciate you guys for all the support and all that good stuff. Really get on some more Dragon Ball content and games content on this channel. So, I appreciate you guys. Leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new. Let's get on some more Dragon Ball Sparking Zero content. Peace.